Christians should not practice yoga. And here is why. Yoga opposes the word of God in every way. Yoga is a religion and its purpose is to awake one's kundalini. What is kundalini? In Hinduism, kundalini is actually a goddess that resides in the base of the spine and is awakened by the practice of yoga. It is firm as a snake. In other words, it is a demon. Yoga is simply an invitation to demonic possession. The Kundalini spirit gained access to the Western world from India through New Age teaching. It is popularly known as yoga. Don't for a minute think that yoga is harmless. Yoga is inherent a part of Hindu's philosophy, which teaches that man and nature are one with divinity. In Kundalini Yoga, there are seven sensitive points, called chakras, that have a serpent at the base of the spine. The serpent works through each chakra that is open until it reaches the penile gland, which most consider the third eye, until you realize that you are God. And in Genesis 3, 4, 5, the serpent said unto the woman, Ye shall not surely die, for God doth know that the day ye eat thereof, then your eyes shall be opened, and you shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. Signs when Kundalini has been awakened. Involuntary jerks, tremors, shaking, itching, tingling, and crawling sensations, especially in the arm and legs. Energy rushes or feeling of electricity circulating the body, headache, migraine, or pressure inside the skull, increased blood pressure and irregular heartbeat, emotional numbness, antisocial tendencies, mood swings, and periods of depression or mania, loss of appetites or overeating, if you know anything about spiritual warfare and exorcism, many of these symptoms are red flags for demonic possession. So the question is, should a follower of Christ practice yoga? A better question is, do you want to invite demons into your body and break the first commandment by practicing a religion that believes there are gods other than the God of the Bible? Now, let us look at Kundalini in the churches. Exodus 20 verse 3 says, You shall have no other God before me. Kundalini is an antichrist spiritual counterfeit of the Holy Ghost. We need to bind the serpent demon, cast it out, and close the church doors to this occult operation. Bible passages do not mention stuff like shaking, crying and laughing and so on. They cannot be interpreted into the fruits of the spirits, which are love, joy, and peace. Scriptures do show how false spirits mimic the Holy Spirit, like when Pharaoh's wizards turned their staff into snake, just like Moses did, through the power of God. If you just focus on outer appearance, you can mix the true with the false. Just focus on the doctrine and follow what is written in the Holy Bible.